Okay, this is the first demonstration here. My name is Yuri Magalov, and this video is in response to Michael Webster, who accessed his VMware View virtual desktop from a plane. And I'd also like to say thank you to Chris Ritolo, who built our CDI lab on which this is all running. So this is a demonstration of accessing VMware View from a plain Wi Fi connection. So, first of all, we are on a plane here with United at 34,000 feet right now. We have Wi Fi. We're going to do a speed test. Okay, here's a speed test 696 milliseconds, download speed of 1.6 megabits. I'm going to do another test. The highest speed I've reached here is about 6 megabits per second. Okay, so our speed is 2.8 megabits per second, which is good enough to access our virtual desktop. So let's do that. So here we're going to load up VMware View Horizon Client, PC over IP Client, on the Macintosh computer, and connect to the demonstration environment of my company, CDI. We are connecting. Here we go. We're going to choose Google Desktops that has a TRTG Apex 2800 acceleration card installed on the server from Tenzig Technologies. And here's my virtual desktop. The Windows 7 virtual desktop. Notice the, the screen response. The menus respond slowly, but they respond good enough. Here I'm going to open the Word document. Okay. And uh, in type, yes. hello. YouTube so you can type pretty well okay then I'm going to try browsing Let's try Google. Then turn Explorer. Let's try Google News. Now this virtual desktop is physically located in Teterboro, New Jersey right now. Trying some browsing. Okay, now we're going to try some YouTube. Here's X Men trailer. We're going to start playing it. And you can see that while the video is not really watchable, it 
is not completely unwatchable. I was actually expecting you know, one frame every five minutes, but this is, this is you know, three frames. <coughs> Let's start the X-Men video here. Okay. Let's try now a sample video that's included in Windows. The wildlife video, this is going to be full HD. But unlike the YouTube, which was coming from the internet, this is this video is located inside the virtual desktop, but it is much higher resolution. It's it's uh, almost full screen. So you can see that this video is pretty choppy, but again, this is almost 700 millisecond latency over satellite. So this is PCR IP protocol. Now all of this is backed by Cisco C-series servers and an extreme I.O. all flash storage array from EMC. Let's see how we can access a remote desktop protocol session on a server. Okay. And this is the virtual center server that controls our environment. And on it, I'm starting uh, starting the vSphere, Yammer vSphere client, just to show you that you can control your, from an administrative point of view, you can control your environment. Here's our environment. Okay. And, uh, Pretty usable. See, so, yeah, I can switch between views and we control my environment. This is this is vSphere client. Now let's switch to HTML5 session. So I'm going to go to the browser. Okay, and essentially connect to the session through with the HTML5 without an agent. I want to connect with the same session, therefore it's going to log out my session in VM Review Client. Notice we just got disconnected here, but through HTML5 we are connecting. There we go. Well, there we go. Here's our Windows session. Same one that I had opened, but now it's pure HTML5. Here's again key response rate test. At this point, my laptop went to sleep because it was out of power. United Airlines did not have an outlet for me to charge it. Thanks for watching. The list of hardware used is going to be in the notes below the video. My contact information is on the last frame. Thank you to Chris Rotolo for support and Michael Webster and Gunnar Berger for inspiration.